medical field because I like helping people um, and saving lives, showing compassion, being there for patients and their families. I'm Sarah May and I'm a surgical technologist at Benefice Health System. So I started my health science career my freshman year of high school. My name is Christy Burtz and I teach health science classes at CMR High School. The health science classes that I teach at CMR are two levels of anatomy and physiology. One's more of a college level and the other is um, still college level but more at a slower pace. I teach an EMT class, I teach an online medical terminology class, and I also teach an EMT basic class for students to take the certification test and become EMTs when they're done with the class. So the classes in high school were important because they led me um, to choose exactly what I wanted to do in the healthcare field, because um, there's so many different careers and so many different ways to go about it. Um, so all those like job shadows, internship, really helped me pinpoint the area that I wanted to go into. CTE classes allow students coming out of high school to have a strong foundation and a jump start whether they enter into post-secondary education or into the career field. Jan Lishman Donahue, uh, Manager Organizational Development, Benefits Health System. We believe that the, the development that these high school students get in, the, in their programs, the development that includes some sampling and some um, extra time in a setting like we offer with a job shadow, it actually helps them make a career choice faster. It helps them make a career choice more accurately. And we really do see that they are more employable they hit our door and our um, jobs with a greater appreciation of what it takes to be successful in that role and they're, they're a more productive employee faster. EMT Basic is a class that I think is a really good opportunity for high school students because you can go out and get a job in the career field without any post-secondary education and you're performing a life-saving job it's not just a, a job of menial importance you're going out and really making a difference in people's lives I think that opportunity for kids is humongous they really take some ownership and pride in the fact that when they graduate they can go out and get a job that could make a huge difference to people hi my name is Joel Henderson and I'm the director of EMS here at Great Falls College Montana State University the EMT uh, is a prerequisite to our paramedic program. So uh, students taking the, the EMT in high school have already uh, knocked out seven credits, one of the requirements, plus they can go out and start working um, in the community, um, both as paid or volunteer. Uh, and so it's, it's their first, lot of, for most of them, it's their first college experience. And, um, and so, we find that to be very valuable, um, kind of compare and contrasting high school to college expectations, and that's something we talk to them about. Um, when I started at Great Falls College MSU, um, you start with your prerequisites like medical terminology, a and micro, and then you apply for your program. And once you're accepted, you have, in surgical technology program, you have three semesters. Um, in the beginning, is more like classroom stuff and then later you get into hands-on and lab and what you're actually going to be doing in your career. Hi, I'm Shannon Marr. I am the program coordinator for Montana Career Pathways at Great Falls College MSU. We all know that the cost of higher education has just continued to increase and so students and parents heading into high school still value college as a end goal. Um, when we survey students, you know, 85% of students and parents say college is something that they want to pursue after high school, but by the time they graduate from high school, that number just dropping to about 60%. We find that number um, higher who still want to pursue college for those students that have participated in career and technical education. So those students that have taken advantage of classes that are in real-world environments like 
um, trades and healthcare and technology, um, that they're getting real world skills and they can see the relevance of what they're learning in their high school connected to a career, they're more likely to then pursue more education after high school. And, um, you know, they're getting a benefit, a, a cost benefit, certainly a time saving benefit when they enroll in college classes in high school because we have the fantastic one, two free program, which allows students to take dual credit classes, the first two classes up to six credits, absolutely free. And they can get their feet wet. They can try and see what they think of college um, and get excited about pursuing options after high school. So I started my health science career my freshman year of high school. I started by taking the general medical classes like medical English, medical history, um, and went from there to medical terminology, health training, um, and human body systems where I found my love for human body and the way that that whole thing works in physiology. And then um, later we got the opportunity to job shadow, which I did with a surgical tech. I enjoyed that experience. And then later on, um, there was an opportunity for an internship class, 90 hours. And so I elected to take that, did it with a surgical tech. And once I did that, I knew it was a career that I wanted to pursue. Um, so once I graduated from high school, I applied for Great Falls College in MSU and started with the prerequisites for the surgical tech program. I'm Daisy Gibson, and I am the Surgical Tech Program Director here at the Great Falls College, Montana State University, and I still currently work as a Surgical Tech at Benefice Health System. Um, so what I think the high school program does for our program, um, you know, it's hard to compare when um, we're talking about Sarah because she's such a wonderful person anyways. She could have come into this program um, and still been a successful student. But what I saw in her, um, she had great study skills. She was great with other people, working with other people, and she knew what she wanted to be. There was never that doubt that maybe I want to go do this. Um, we have students that come in and they just don't know what they want. So I think that when you look at the high school program, introducing all of these programs um, or careers to the students at such a young age, I think that enables them to make decisions earlier on in life, at least about where, which options they want to follow. Maybe not so much as specific as a surgical tech, but maybe in the healthcare. Um, maybe they want to be a carpenter, maybe they want to be an automotive business or a teacher. At least it opens their eyes to all the different options that are available. So the program, the healthcare classes and programs are important because there's a shortage in the healthcare field of professionals, which then puts more work onto the professionals that are there and makes their workload more. So these programs are important so that we have more people interested that apply for the programs and then eventually graduate and become healthcare professionals.